welcome back. As the new year approaches, we all have new year goals. Most of them being getting into an exercise routine. In our From the Archives report today, we go back to the year 2004 when our very own Neil Barton challenged himself to new year, new you. Take a look. I've had great success getting back into shape with the help of Premier Fitness, but there was one habit I really had to overcome. Neil, what are you doing? What's the problem? Can't be eating that. That's not part of your diet. This used to mean breakfast to me. Breakfast has always been my enemy. I never feel like eating in the morning, and if I did eat breakfast, it was the wrong food that made me want to go back to bed. But like your mom told you, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Just remember, don't start the day with a pastry like this. This has 480 calories in it. That's a lot. A lot. 200 of those are from fat. Another reason why breakfast is so important? Because it's going to um, tend to keep you from overeating later in the day. I think um, the percentage is about 60% of people who eat breakfast don't overeat at lunch. I do have another reason why I eat so carefully now. How long would it take for me to burn this off? Uh, pretty much when you're um, through our workout and through your cardio at the end of the workout, um, you're probably burning uh, on an average of 600 calories. So, um, I mean, it's going to take you at least an hour to burn all this off. You mean all that hard work we do just for this? One hour. There you go. It's not worth it. No, it's not. Keep exercising and eat foods that will fill you up. Since I started this series in January, I finally found a breakfast that works for me. Toasted bagel, a little peanut butter, and a glass of orange juice just to keep my blood sugar level leveled out. <laughs> that was Kate Gay's Neil Barton.